Hi, my name is Kim Cullen and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. Uh, this is part two in a three-part series on how to choose a personal injury attorney. In part one, we went over the importance of talking to family and friends um, and getting at least a list of names started so that you can pick the right personal injury attorney for you. Part two, this video is going about what you do once you have a list of names or you have uh, one or two names that you're considering. And so part two, my best advice to you would be do your research. So uh, in addition to the information that you got from your family or your uh, friends at work or wherever you, you, you get your advice from, the next thing I would do is do your research on the lawyer's names that you have. So maybe the first thing you do is do a Google search for the lawyers. See if they have a website. See if their website has information that will be helpful to you in terms of choosing an attorney. Um, any personal injury website is going to have information about cases, but you want to look at testimonials. Does the attorney have satisfied clients that you can learn something from? And you also want to look at case results and see if your attorney has uh, case results on cases that seem like they might be similar to yours. Um, also, in terms of the testimonials, you want to find out what, what, what are these people saying about the attorney? Was, there, was the experience itself good? Getting a good financial result is obviously really important. But the experience itself, how did the lawyers treat the person that, that's giving the testimonial? How, how did things work out? Were there telephone calls returned? That, those kinds of things. Those are all kinds of things that you can find usually in testimonials or case results on a lawyer's website. I would also um, look up the lawyer or his law firm in various social media platforms like Google and Facebook. They all have reviews these days. And so you want to see, does your client, does your attorney that you might be using, do they have five star reviews or two stars? Are there a lot of people complaining about them online? You might also want to try the Better Business Bureau website and see if the attorney's office is in the Better Business Bureau and if there have been any complaints about the attorney. You might want to check with the Florida Bar and see if the attorney's had any bar complaints filed against them. You might also want to see, uh, log into the Clerk of the Courts website and see if the attorneys that you're considering are the kind of lawyers that file lawsuits on behalf of clients, have they filed a bunch of lawsuits and do, do those lawsuits look like they've turned out well? Uh, you want to find out perhaps if you can, if those same lawsuits that have been filed have also been uh, turned into verdicts. Did the attorney try the lawsuit and get a verdict in the case? These are all things that will help you differentiate one lawyer from the next and, and hopefully help you find or choose the right attorney for you. So stay tuned. If you haven't watched video one, please watch that one. Stay tuned for video number three, where we'll talk about the last of the three easy steps on helping you find a personal injury attorney that's perfect for you. Again, my name is Kim Cullen. You can call me or my law partner, Robert Hemphill, at any time, 407-254-4901.